to our channel. Uh, this is another episode in how we make paper props and in particular uh, newspapers or this newspaper in, in particular. And um, so we're going to uh, show you how I made it. And then when we come back, we'll go over some of the other paper props that we use um, in our in our shoots um, and at the end of the video we'll have some photographs and video of, of actual uh, props in use and so thank you when I try to do a new newspaper I'll research something on the web typically the Library of Congress and I'll search for whatever subject I'm interested in. I just did this, Truman Takes Office, and it'll show you quite a lot, whatever may have those keywords in, that, in it. Typically, I'm used, uh, I only want to watch the uh, front page, so I'll click this checkbox, and then here we go. So if I'm, I like this one, I can, uh, it's got some good, good large headlines, some stuff that I can use. So then I'll download it as this JPG or JPEG 2 uh, version. It's just a version of JPEG, which uh, will open up in, uh, in Photoshop. Uh, at that point, I'll open it up in Photoshop. There's a different one I had uh, searched for earlier. I was doing a, a Bonnie and Clyde thing so uh, but I open them up I have a template that I use and that is more of a modern newspaper size 12 inch width 22 and a half height so I can bring everything in there resize it the original newspaper would be much larger so I'll resize it to that and since I'm only interested in the top half where the headlines are. The bottom half would be folded, you wouldn't see it, or I can use a clone tool and blend it in as I did this one. So you can see that uh, if I turn off the top layer, the bottom layer is uh, just another vintage newspaper that I have layered in there and then kind of cloned it in so it would, so it would blend more easily fit. Uh, clean it up by uh, using levels or curve adjustment layer to uh, more make it wider. If it's if the uh, if the page is faded out, give it a little more contrast maybe, and clean up some some spots if it has a lot of uh, the original scan may have had some dirt spots. So I'll clean that up as well and uh, save it and then print it out in a large format, a large format printer, I should say. Uh, so this is one I did for uh, a Titanic newspaper. I layered in different pieces of different newspapers so I could have uh, an entire newspaper. Or just, uh, and this one, the original headline was in pretty poor shape of the scan that they had on on the web so as you can see i had to recreate all of the the text i, I recreated the font or i mean i used the font that was very similar and retyped all the headlines the uh Let's see, as you can see, uh, all the headlines and everything is all back the way it was. So then I could clean up the rest of it and um, again, printed it out and use that in, in some of our vintage uh, videos and photographs, obviously. This one, World War II same thing the top half completely uh, from the original newspaper bottom half I layered in some photographs 
from uh, Pearl Harbor, just so I could have a full page of, of text and graphics. Some of the stuff I do is just for fun. This was from uh, Day the Earth Stood Still. Uh, it was a, when I watched the movie, they had this screen grab. I mean, a few seconds of him reading this, this newspaper. So I had to recreate it a little bit. And uh, just have that as fun. Another one from War of the Worlds. They had a newspaper shown in there, just split second. Um, so I created all the text from, uh, used another newspaper, but I created all the headlines and everything. Uh, August 26, 1953, the day the movie came out, Mars Machines, California, all that stuff. Killer rays, oh, they're so dramatic. Um, so that's pretty much how I, I do the, uh, do the newspapers, most of the stuff downloaded from the web, cleaned up and, um, printed as, as I need it. Um, I'm not out to sell any of this stuff. I just use it as, as, uh, printed props in the background. So some of it's seen, most of it is just something you just know that it's a newspaper but you don't really see what the headlines are yeah you know it could be any of that stuff so i have my recreated newspaper that i've printed out the proper size of a modern newspaper uh, just to get the um, the fold and feel of a newspaper and so on so what i need to do is first of all and I'll do this outside, but um, I'll spray this adhesive just like I did on the cigarette pack, um, which I'll post a link in the description of this video uh, for my cigarette pack prop. Anyway, the, so this spray adhesive has to get sprayed on the back of my recreation paper. Since it's two separate sheets for the front and back, then I won't, I don't want to see a seam in the fold uh, from, from the two pieces of paper. So what I'll do is fold this, yeah, I'll, I'll cut this edge like a quarter of an inch too wide and then it'll be folded over to the back. And I've already made my lines here and here. I'll put that like that. This will it'll be glued down to the front of the paper, and then I will fold over this to the um, to the back. Then when I lay on the back sheet, it'll um, we'll have a natural fold, and we won't see a or two edges of, of the paper. So we just finished spreading the glue and now I have to um, put this on there. Move this down just to make sure that it's all glued. Okay. And then I'm going to do my fold over. If you have a printer, a, a print shop that 
is able to print large enough where you can get both sheets on one, just like a, a real newspaper is, then you don't have to do this part. I uh, don't have such a printer or, and it just never, never, I never really worried about it. So, and then that's, that's it for the, for the front page. We'll do the same thing for the back, for the back page. Um, and then I'll just, but I'll glue it almost to the edge. So, so if you're looking at it from the edge of the newspaper, you won't see the, any, uh, any edge of, of a piece of paper. And this edge up here, I will uh, trim off after everything is done. So here's the, the back page. I picked a society page. And so we'll do the same thing. We will go outside, spray it, and then glue it down to here. Like I said, this edge will be, uh, will be trimmed off as, we, as needed. So let's go back out, spray this, and then put it all together, and we'll be done. All right, so we just finished gluing the, the back page, and I'm going to glue it on here, leaving a little bit overhang of the front page. All right. Okay, so now we have a modern inside, but we have two vintage front and back. And if we do the fold, looks like a nice newspaper that we'd be reading. So, So now I need to uh, to trim off this top extra top and and bottom. Now the top doesn't need to be, but this side edge and the bottom needs to be trimmed. So that was the Clyde Barrel. I've done a few others for different eras. This was uh, Amelia Earhart and Roosevelt. Also, War. World War II. Now, some of my papers only have the front page. A few of, like that one I've done with front and back. The front page just saves time in making it and is strictly made to be a prop. So it could be in a folded manner like this or in different camera angles. You know, you can show just the front part. But this is all for uh, how we do for our photography, uh, videography, if you're a reenactor that kind of thing. Um, you can help out your impression with that. We did a series on the 1918 pandemic influenza. Made some posters as they were back then. And um, PAX did that last week. Uh, I'll post a link in the description where we, uh, we created these from a original or a modern soft pack of uh, cigarettes. The actor can, can use the uh, white pack, the green pack for a lucky strike for pre-World War II. That one's always, always good to have. So some of the other things I've made, uh, uh, these, these uh, reproduction envelopes. This was uh, Amelia Earhart round trip and some other First class airmail, Eastern Airlines ticket holder. So that was uh, 
for a shoot we did out at the uh, Vintage Air Museum here in Houston a couple years ago. That was, uh, that was a fun shoot. And some 1940s train tickets. Oh, then this was for our uh, federal prohibition agent. I created the uh, artwork for the my picture, uh, the ID badge, uh, the folder. All I uh, made all of this to the folding folder as they were originally, and um, goes with my with my badge. But this was a fun project too. Uh, not only a lot of Photoshop to create the the the, the ID part but also creating the, the leather or leatherette folding uh, holder. And uh, so that's about it for this episode. Uh, if, if you'd like to see anything else or see how I've made some of this stuff, just uh, put a comment down below. And uh, if you'd like to see something else, actually how it's made. Um, it's always fun making props. That's what I do. So I think that's it for this one. We'll talk to you later. Bye.